This is an auto-narrated audiobook generated by Google. The meaning of Kabbalah means secret oral tradition. This word was first mentioned by 11th century Spanish philosopher Ibn Gabriel. Just the teaching first developed in Babylon during the Middle Ages. Moses de Leon developed this philosophy 13th century in the book of Zohar or Zohor, can be spelled both ways meaning splendor. Some say Moses de Leon claimed, claimed that he took the traditions going back to Shimon bar Yohai from 2nd century and committed them to writing, but there is no evidence Shimon bar Yohai ever taught this, if it was why wasn't it written down in the Talmuds? Because Shimon bar Yohai utterances are numerous in both Talmuds. If that was the case, then it would have been well received by the Jewish Orthodox, and it is not. This teaching came about through Hebrew speculation and numerology. The Kabbalah is a mystical Jewish teaching mix with Gnosticism, Neoplatonism, magic and occult practices. Like the red string in the left wrist, used by Madonna Demi Moore or others for good luck and to keep evil spirits away. This the Bible goes against. Ezekiel chapter 13 verses 18 to 20 ISV tell them, This is what the Lord God says, How terrible it will be for those women who sew magical bracelets on all their wrists and make one-size-fits-all headbands in order to entrap their souls. Will you hunt for the souls of my people and remain alive? You've profaned me among my people for a handful of barley and a morsel of bread. You're causing people to die who shouldn't have to die, and you're causing people to live who shouldn't survive, when you deceive my people who tend to listen to lies. Therefore this is what the Lord God says, watch out. I'm opposing your amulets with which you hunt souls, as one would swat at a flying insect. I'll tear them off your arms and then deliver those people, whom you've hunted like birds. The Kabbalah may quote the Bible but it has nothing to do with the Bible. It is rejected by many Jewish rabbis and many Christians. The God of the Kabbalah is Ein Sof or Endless, which reveals itself through ten manifestation called Sephirot, which are illustrated with male and female aspects as ten points on the Tree of Life. This God is both male and female. The God of the Old Testament is Masculine. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 Tanakh 1917, And God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Genesis chapter 5 verse 2 Tanakh 1917, Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Psalms 24-2 Tanakh 1917, For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. The God of the New Testament is masculine. In this manner therefore pray, Our Father in heaven hallowed be your name. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 NKJV For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John chapter 3 verse 16 NKJV And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. John chapter 14 verse 16, NKJV. Never the God of the Bible is called a she, her or female, in the Hebrew Bible or the New Testament. The Kabbalah also teaches in reincarnation, which is not taught in the Hebrew Bible or the New Testament. Death in the Old Testament is seen as a reunion for the righteous with those who died before them. Genesis chapter 25 verse 8 Tanakh 1917 And Abraham expired, and died in a good old age, an old man, and full of years, and was gathered to his people. Genesis chapter 25 verse 17 Tanakh 1917 And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, a hundred and thirty and seven years, and he expired and died, and was gathered unto his people. When God appears to Moses, he states he is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob showing they still existed by those names in his presence, and not reincarnated as someone else. Exodus chapter 3 verse 6 Tanakh 1917 Moreover he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And in the New Testament for those in Christ it is seen as a union with Christ. We are confident, yes, well pleased rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. 2 Corinthians 5-8, NKJV And we see Jesus did not agree with this doctrine of reincarnation, as well in John chapter 9. 
John chapter 9 verses 1 to 3 ULT 1 Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. Then his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, so that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither did this man sin, nor his parents, but so that the works of God would be revealed in him. In the disciples stating did this man sin, that he was born blind, they was implying reincarnation through a past life, as was the belief among some of the Pharisees in those times that the spirit of the righteous was reincarnated. When this was stated, we don't see Jesus agreeing with them, but telling them this man did not sin in a past life. For if Jesus would have said this man sin, he would have agreed with them, but in him saying he didn't, he did not agree with them about reincarnation. The New Testament states man dies once then judgment. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 ULT, just as men are appointed to die once, and after that is the judgment. In Christianity, the Messiah has already come in the person of Jesus. In Judaism, they are still waiting for the Messiah, like the Kabbalah, religion is still waiting for a Jewish Messiah to come. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 ISV, this is a record of the life of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham.